This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. This portion of Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University, celebrating 25 years of educating Southwest Florida. Southwest Florida, welcome back. We're glad you stayed with us. And who is this cute little puppy right here? Well, that's <laughs> Melody. Melody is the star of the show. She's got on all her scouting clothes, and she looks like a little scout, hence the name Pup Scout. And we have the director and the founder of Pup Scout here. And so we're thrilled to have her on this show. Uh, welcome to Leap is Live. Oh, thank you. And, uh, of course, uh, Melody can partake in all the <laughs> beverages that we have here. She is so cute. What, what type of dog do we have here? She's a Shih Tzu. Okay. And uh, tell me a little bit about a Shih Tzu. Um, they're one of the oldest breeds. They're t the Tibetan breed and their name means lion dog mm. and um, they're uh, friendly and they're the only breed that was ever bred just for human companionship mm, so the shih tzu mm -hmm. and we have a, a dog there in the carriage uh oh that's, Mo. yeah that's mr mo he is a havanese now you being the founder of pup scout mm -hmm. uh tell us what is pup scout Pup Scouts is an international organization mm -hmm. that is, um, we support um, other uh, nonprofits, we, 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 we support nonprofits, and Pup Scouts are, it's about friendship. It's just like when you were a little boy or a little girl and you were in Scouts. We're very community oriented, we're a grassroots organization. Okay, what made you decide that you wanted to start an organization like Pup Scouts? <clears throat> Melanie was a model and she was traveling throughout the country doing fashion shows and opening fashion shows for fashion designers and we developed a pet following and we said well you know how can we give back so we started out as um, therapy dogs going into nursing homes to give back because we were um, wanting to give back to the community. I mean, this feels like therapy here with her looking like <laughs> hands. Oh my goodness, you make me feel like a nice guy. <laughs> now what's your background in the pet industry? Um, my background in the pet industry is, um, is Melanie. Um, uh, as far as pet fashion, I am a, found, um, am a member, one of the founding members of um, the International Pet Fashion um, in, um, Professionals in the in industry. And I am also in the women in the pet fashion industry. Now, you are living here in Southwest Florida, in Naples. Yes. But is it fair to say that we have somebody here in Southwest Florida that's known pretty much worldwide in terms of what you do with puppies? I mean, you got a large following on your internet. Yes. And, and uh, in different countries. So we should be privileged to know that we have an icon like you right here in Southwest Florida. Wow, I'm humbled, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I never looked at it that way. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, uh, when we, um, when, what, what, how can people become a part of what your mission is? Well, Do you have to have a dog? Well, no, because we have a rabbit, we have a bird, and we have an iguana, mm -hmm. um, a ferret. Um, we're, any, any pet, it's celebrating your life with your pet. Okay. We're no longer the generation that the pets are left at home. We are on the cutting edge of a, a new generation where the pets are a part of our lifestyle. Well, they travel with us. They're a part of our family. And, and, um, Excellent. Now we're looking at photos on the screen, mm -hmm. and what stands out to me is the, uh, you know, some beautiful photos, but the Disney cruise looks like you had a disney and the pup cruise tell yes. us about that uh, every year um our service dog and therapy dog group they have um a founders to stay meet up at walt disney world and they eat out they visit the parks uh we have character breakfast and um we just uh, celebrate our friendship and um and then the pup cruise we have here in Naples, and we um, our next one is in September, and we actually uh, leave for the day. We take a boat out. We go to Key Wayton Island. The dogs run and play on 
Kiki waiting, then we get back on the boat, and then CJ's on the rock has lunch for us, and there's even a Pup Scout menu. <laughs> Unbelievable. So these pups are really getting the royal treatment. What do you find in common amongst people who have dogs or have puppies and that bonds you all and make you such a, such a pleasant organization and, and all of you just immediately connect to each other? Generally, anim people that are animal lovers are just wonderful people to be around. And you know how it is when you get along with someone and it's one great friend and then another great friend. So I can say that it's great friendship. Um, a good um, party group of uh, people, you know, we just enjoy life. What other organizations does Pup Scout support? Um, we, um, oh, there's so many. Gosh, I, uh, we support nonprofits in like Make a Wish program. Um, we support, um, we raise funds for um, the food bank. Yeah. Um, every every Halloween we have the spook in style and scare the boo out of hunger uh -huh. and with that the dogs go trick-or-treating and if you know anything about pup scouts these people love to dress their puppy dogs up so we go trick-or-treating more than once <laughs> now the the people who uh, support like pup scouts consist of to me it looks like it consists of two entities the puppies themselves and the puppy owners. Yes. It's like a symbiotic relationship between people yes. and puppies. Yes. Now, do puppies need friends? I mean, when your puppy meets another puppy, they become good friends and they know each other and they look forward to their conference, going on conference and going on cruises together. <laughs> well, we've actually had a Disney wedding for the dogs. We had two dogs that met and they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And I know that sounds crazy and I can't believe I'm sitting on TV talking about this. But these two dogs loved each other from the time that they looked at each other. And one is Pink Dog Frankie. He's from New York because we have people coming in from all over to visit. Mm -hmm. And then the other is Stella Star. And the first time they laid eyes on each other, they fell in love. So we had a, a Disney wedding. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tell me about your um, the Barking News and how can people join Pup Scouts? Okay. The Pup Scouts Barking News is... Ex it's... Um, the, it's a magazine about our lifestyle. It's online. And it's online. It's an online magazine. And um, it's just an informative, what events we're doing, uh, things that you should be aware of. And you can join Pup Scouts by going to our website and underneath the membership and registration. If you fill that out and pay for your membership, and then we'll get in touch with you. And we actually have our own little... Um, website where everybody gets on and we all chat and talk and you actually create your own website for your dog. Okay. Well, I think which one of the dogs are able to say goodbye? That's Mr. Mojito. Let's get Mr. Mojito to say goodbye. Mr. Mojito, can you say bye-byes? Mr. Mo, say bye-byes. Oh. Say bye-byes. Oh, so yes, while he's saying goodbye, everybody, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like all the fine people like Kay and all the fine people who are associated with Pup Scouts. Taking over. <laughs> all right, give her a hand. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mohica. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production.